Hello and welcome back to Gold Squadron Podcast. My name is William Hackwood. I'm joined by the James Ritter. Hey guys. And we are going to be watching some Star Wars X-Wing 2nd Edition. This an official tournament, a world qualifier happening at the one and only Gen Con. That's in Indianapolis in the first week of August. We are excited to have filmed the top four game for you. And I'm ready, ready to check it out. Uh, we have Tyler Tippett flying the Galactic Republic ver facing off Christopher Crispy Patrick and his signature first order. Uh, they are playing Chance Engagement. So before we get too far into these lists and players, Let's start with that scenario, James. Uh, right, yeah. One of our simpler scenarios. Uh, it's very similar to uh, playing without an objective uh, entirely. Uh, at the end of every round, as long as you have a ship at range 0 to 2 of that middle objective, you will get one point. If your opponent is not does not have a ship at range 0 to 2, you will get two points. So every round... After the first, so starting at turn number two, uh, there will be two points up for grabs every turn, and almost all the time, the two players split that and just take one point apiece. Uh, and the most of the points is going to come from destroying ships or getting half points, because this is the only, only scenario that has half points involved. So once you deal half of a ship's health rounded, up you get will we'll get half of their points rounded down so uh, as an example someone like kylo ren who is a five point ship with five health you need to do at least three damage and they uh and you will get two points or sorry three point right no two points for him for half points and you'll have to completely destroy him so yeah, you get two you, points. You get that. the yeah. lesser half first, and then yeah, greater the lesser half later. Yeah, uh, so one and get... three, two and five, three and four. Yeah, that was a change, right? That they changed from coming from two point to two point five. Yes. Right. Yeah. Because I was like, I'm pretty sure it used to be the other way around, where odd correct. number ships were. Uh, you wanted to st usually steer clear from odd number ships, especially uh, if they are susceptible to being halved, because mm -hmm. uh, you'll give up more points for it. Sure. But nowadays, um, odd number well, odd number points are great. Um, well, it's one of the few advantages a three point ship might have in chance oh. engagement, um, because it only until it's destroyed, it only gives up a single point. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any three-point ships around here. Uh, we have only no. two kinds of values. We have four <laughs> points or five points. A uh, very symmetrical list. I do love it. Uh, it looks like we have the first of the road rolls. Tyler was the first player in the deployment, placing all three of his rocks right in front of Crispy, and Crispy kind of protecting the middle as much as they can against this fleet of arc 170s so we're going to start with that guy moving first here this is jag all of these arcs and anakin are the standardized soc siege of coruscant uh, what, we're, what we will refer to as sock most likely but the siege of coruscant arcs uh, our standardized cards, all of them have Veteran Tail Gunner. Uh, Jag has the R4P, which can allow them to reduce the difficulty. You want to clear a stress on a hard two, you could do that. You want to go four forward or hard three uh, with, while taking an action, that's what the two charges of R4P is for. Uh, now, the most valuable thing about Jag, though, has got to be that ability to acquire a lock after somebody in your side arc shoots. Uh, it's got amazing synergy. This whole list is synergized about handing off their extra actions. So Jag can get an extra action um, when somebody shoots. 
Oddball in the next one here, notably with Selfless and an extra shield, uh, though also has Veteran Tail and R4P. Oddball can give a lock when they do a red maneuver or red action at range one of a enemy. I uh, can give it to himself or give it to a friendly. And then Wolf, who normally has their own reroll, but with through Wolf Pack, can actually use a uh, Jag or Oddball's target locks as his own. Uh, it's really great if you, because you only have your reroll out of your front, so it's great for rerolls out your back as well. Now, the uh, uh, other standard loadout then is Anakin uh, has Malice for crits, uh, incendiary ion <laughs> weapons. Uh, if you get a crit through, it becomes an ion instead, uh, though you can only do it every other round. And then RTD2 allows you to remove tokens. It, heal, it repairs your crits. What else does it do? What are the two other things that it does? Removes it a token. Re re removes devices. It removes uh, a repairs, device. Yeah, repairs repairs hull or recovers a shield. Right. No shields on this Anakin. Uh, but it does create a kind of healing mechanism. I forgot about the devices. That's right. Picking up buzz droids like in the seat yeah. of Coruscant. So yeah, very thematic pretty, there. Pretty cool. Uh, then the... Speaking on theme, if we got Anakin, why not bring in Padme Amidala, the senator herself, flying the Naboo Starfighter. Padme, we're going to be talking about it a lot, trying to catch the triggers on it, but basically the ships in enemy ships in Padme's arc can only spend uh, their modifiers on a, a single eyeball result. We got target lock, focus, six calculates, doesn't matter. Can only modify one single eyeball result. So we're going to be keep looking for that, watching her just um, deny people uh, that kind of uh, modification. She's bringing passive sensors, and we see the charge flip there to require lock when she engages. So she could shoot these uh, proton torpedoes. Uh, looks like we have uh, that's Kylo Ren dressed out in red there, trying to see if he needed... Uh, that bullseye uh, does not look like it. Going to roll th obstructed through the cloud there. We did see a focus expenditure. And that's the last thing I want to talk about in this list is the born for this. The arcs can just take a strain and allow another ship to use their focus tokens defensively. Great for Padme, who's trying to take locks. Doesn't normally have a defensive token except for that evade. Uh, so this is... Uh, Jag on the outside. Going to spend that focus. No other shots coming in. Uh, an easy evade there from Kylo. So just a little warning shot as the ships move into the center of the board. And looks like a big open area except for that one obstacle that you see locked out there. Uh, the Republic better be wary of it. It's right in where the arcs want to travel through. Other than that, though, uh, clear skies ahead for them. Uh, though we could yeah. see. So who's what in the they? middle? The middle is Oddball. So it could move Middle's up and oddball. say yeah. Bear Roll and inquire a target lock to come into the lane behind Jag then, right? Yeah. Yeah, you really want to be using... Uh, oddball's ability on k turns or mm -hmm. the bump focuses but yeah if you can line up a good shot with a barrel roll sure um to get actually in this in this position i feel like maybe just banking in might be the right call yeah just a, just a one bank or two bank would, would be great here mm -hmm. yeah that's going to be well uh let's talk about then uh crispy's list um, let me know what he is flying here, James. Yeah, has a nasty first order list, which is kind of funny because anything, any FO list that Crispy's flying is probably not going to be fun. Speaking of no fun, this list is called uh, the Fun Police. 
Uh, and we'll get and we'll get into more of that on why it's, not, it's the fun police. But it really is the fun police. He is out here taking your actions. You don't get actions. I get more actions. Uh, Crispy really just just a, a, a jerk to play against <laughs> because he brings some nasty list and he is he practices them so well uh, and flies them so well it is incredible um, really really just putting a whole FO on his back and maybe, maybe Will's helping I don't know maybe he's flying he's flying weird ships too uh, yeah he's Not flying all of them you, you, you and, you and... <laughs> <laughs> I, I bailed <laughs> pull, pull me out <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we do have uh, a couple of Thai Barons here. Uh, at the top of the board, we have uh, Hollow uh, in uh, orange. I'll go ahead and mark that here. And at the bottom of the board, we have Major Von Reg in classic red color. Uh, Hollow has the ability to... Uh, at the start of engagement, she uh, must pass one of her tokens to a friendly at range 0 to 2. So that could be a multitude of different options. Focus, evades, uh, are uh, a lot of support type abilities that she can do. But Hollow can also pass off red tokens, which uh, really leans in with her ability um, to take that strain or deplete. Uh, but also a stress, which uh, we do have a proud tradition here. So uh, we don't have the classic pattern proud anymore on Hollow, but uh, still rocking that proud tradition and uh, instead takes deuterium power cells. Uh, I might have to look that one up because uh, I do not see that one very <laughs> often. I can I can summarize it quick. Oh, oh you, got the, you got the card. Nice. Yeah, uh, two charges. Uh, first order has to have a mod and a tech, so I think that uh, disqualifies some ships. But during the system phase, you may spend one charge and gain a disarm to recover a shield. And before you would gain a non-lock token, if you're not stressed, you may spend a charge to gain a stress token instead. So uh, potentially two shields or potentially... Uh, a shield and getting rid of the disarm immediately to gain a stress. There's a ton of different options that we could see. Uh, but Hollow, great piece, has Magpulse, Deuterium, and Proud Tradition. Uh, we also see Von Reg, like I said, with Magpulse, Deuterium, a Marksmanship, and Lone Wolf. I'm not sure if we're going to get any Lone Wolves this early, uh, as it looks like Wrath is coming in hot here uh, with a Focus jam on pad made a jam off that focus in the range to bullseye uh jamming what kind of ship is jamming out here we have two thai whispers out there uh these guys are really nasty um and can uh have a bunch of linked out how many is it 16 17 20 i don't know Tw 12 so many 12 different action combinations <laughs> so many different actions they can do uh most of them are going to be uh, it's focus, reposition into a jam or a uh, rotate. So you always have focus, rotate, focus, jam, boost, rotate, boost, jam, roll, rotate, or roll, jam. So those are really your only linked actions, correct? I don't think they have any other linked, right? Okay. Uh, but also, of course, has the jam action by default and that's all coming from the enhanced jamming suite uh, so keep an eye out for that these ships are very nasty I uh, also have a pattern analyzer on Kylo Ren Predator, Brilliant Evasion and Malice uh, no uh, rockets at all so really leaning into the ability to uh, get those bullseyes. So it looks like he has maybe lined it up at least on Padme here with Kylo. Uh, and I think... Oh no, Oddball is going to bump. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't bump. Oh, I didn't. Oh, he didn't. Oh, that's sad actually for, <laughs> for him. He would have actually really loved to get a bump there. Because <laughs> uh, when he does do that reaction, he gets that, uh, that lock mm. that he can pass off to himself or someone else. Uh, but Kylo... Uh, has an ability we don't see it too often but has the ability to in the bulls if a, when a ship in a bullseye suffers a damaged card he can spend a force to flip it face up 
Uh, we have Wrath in the last five point ship here in the FO list with, uh, of course, Enhanced Jamie Sweet, Pattern Analyzer, Ion Cannon, Predator, and Marksmanship. So Ion Cannon out there uh, allowing Wrath to really be open to. Oh, no, we did get a bump here. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. It looks it looks good. I don't know what that. I don't know what this <laughs> meant. And that could have been oh no or oh my gosh it fit. <laughs> really well, really hard to tell. Ah uh, well yeah he's not really he's thinking about something so it must not fit or must have must have fit. must have fit yeah. Um all right so wrath has the ability when you. Uh, after you shoot, if you are shoot your bull, I think it's shoot your bullseye. Shoot your bullseye attack. Yeah, when you shoot your bullseye attack, if you are uh, have a non-lock red or orange token, you may perform a bonus attack against a different target. Mm -hmm. So, um, really neat ability there, uh, and that ion cannon really keeps it open because it allows him to put that turret to the back. So, really has. A uh, little fire spray out there. Tiny little fire spray. With, a, with an ion cannon. Yeah, he's like an HLC fire spray flying around. Uh, but right. shrunk. shrunk hollow, hollow, passes the ev <laughs> hollow passes the evade to Kylo, of course. Yeah, don't forget that rear arc shot from Jag. So, a lot of, uh, a lot of shots coming into Kylo here. It looks like two hits. Right. Von Reg going to start us off here. looks to be on to Padme. Oh no, this is a bunch. Yeah, I took the target lock. Oh, that's a that's gonna be a uh that's a mag pulse right there. Yes. So uh the evade token is gone. It's one of the advantages of the passive sensors. It doesn't even have a target lock right now. No, he jammed off the, the safety lock. Because uh, Wrath jammed off the evade. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Good safety lock, then. All right. I don't see. So this was Anakin's range one into strained. Oh, big earthquake happening here in Gen Con. But <laughs> uh, the... <laughs> Um, what do I want to say? Uh, the shot didn't look like it had done much there, even with the uh, reduced defense. Trying to see, oh, uh, see wow. the shields on the other side of the cards over there. I don't think I'm seeing I don't think, gone. I don't think he lined up that bullseye from Kylo to Padme. It's so close. Um, I don't think it quite landed. Oh, big blank out for... Oh, 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 no, that's terrible. Uh, we saw a huge blank out for Kylo. Three blanks. Predator into a fourth blank. Uh, this looks to be Wrath. Um, it's a bunch of... Oh, that was actually... That was... That was oh. Wrath. Missed. Oh, and then another... Two hits from Hollow into a Jag. I think we're gonna spend Jag's focus. Oh yeah, I forgot uh, that you're watching. Take... I forgot you're watching live. I got you, buddy. <laughs> I'm not, um, not used to it. Uh, but I got you. I got you. Uh, so yeah, almost nothing there. Into these one agility arcs, and now Oddball gets to pay. Gonna drop both shields on Kylo there after Kylo spins the evade. Didn't did not get the third agility dice because Oddball didn't need to spend their focus token. Uh, so yeah, able to push two through. Uh, Jag uh, though, Jag's sorry. Who is that damage on? That's two off of Kylo from Oddball's range one. We're going to see a reroll from the 
Tuggerlock here, or from the Wolf, I believe. And going to do no damage there. Rolled all paint. Got to spend the focus on defense. Uh, oddly, didn't go into Kylo, but I can understand why. I think that was actually the Proton Torp from Padme. Oh, then he just set the third dice. The the one that re-rolled. Here's a range one from... From Wolf. From Wolf. Uh, that's going to be Force and looks like two damage cards onto him. Um, Might have just been a single there. Trying to do the quick math on it. At least a damage goes half. through. Half either way. That's a good point. Half either way. Uh, there's a four dice jag range one into hollow. And both shields get flipped on hollow as well. Here's the range one rear. Uh, for two. Uh, and it looks like enough force. Uh, the focus token. There you go. Uh, to not be destroyed. Still on the board so far. Still on the board. Yeah, uh, unfortunately. Wow. So this this engagement uh, extremely favored uh, Tyler. The, the big attacks uh, from the bullseyes didn't end up working out. Uh, yeah, I had four, four the, blanks on Kylo. And uh, the... It, this is the one problem with chance engagement is that because combat happens round two in the center of the board, it's very hard to get on these ship's flanks. And if you do try to wait to uh, surround your opponent, well, now you've just allowed the arcs the exact place they want to be which is in the center of the board, surrounded. So they can start doing yeah. front and back attacks. So like... Yeah, they, they love it. Yeah. So Chris, Please, Crispy is a... <laughs> Crispy in an awkward situation here because needs to get the jams off round two. But Ian like should hopefully focus fire somewhere. Right? But it, it just didn't end up working out for him. Now, not to say though, as long as these FO ships are on the board, uh, they can be dangerous. Uh, we're going to get into the pattern analyzer turn, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Um, looking at sloops and K turns from the whispers. I believe the BAs have the, um, the power cells. Uh, so... Even uh, with Hollow losing two shields there, could technically get them back over the next two rounds. Hollow is very interesting with the power cells because if you do get the shield back for a single charge, it disables your weapons. Hollow could just pass that weapons disable token off to somebody else. Like, hey, yeah, someone that's you're not, not, shooting. not shooting or has a bad shot. Hey, Kylo, you have a range three two dice attack don't even yeah. bother dude save your tokens for defense here's a here's a disarm which is just something that yeah. like very few ships can do uh luke very yeah. jealous <laughs> from his <laughs> r2 astromech yeah uh even um anik or even r2d2 is a deplete if i'm not mistaken Move. Take a deplete. Uh, move, move at the end of your activation. Right. Take so a it, deplete. To, to so if you got any fancy things that might take your tokens away. Uh, it wouldn't work, is what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, because you're the you'd last one moving. It'd have, have to be Hound or something. I'm saying, but like uh, any hound, sort of yeah. like upgrade combinations. Oh, All right, good. here we go. A this is -turn. the K turn. Jag, uh, not really in a great position to be utilizing their ability, but 
this K turn. <laughs> Beautiful. And we do see Hollow grab that weapons disabled up at the uh, top of the board. So most likely they have a two sloop, so it could be trying to two sloop out and then take that Proud Tradition focus. Now what's interesting about Proud Tradition and Hollow is that you can only flip someone's Proud Tradition. There is a clause on it that says if you either if they shoot at you while prouding and focusing you can spend your focus token or take a critical damage to flip it and then it becomes false trend false tradition which it makes your focus actions red now the the funny part is taking crits when you're destroyed and you can trigger that you just take the crit because they destroyed you anyways, and you can flip their problem. Now the uh, Hollow can normally get around that by throwing the stress. Um, she's just not stressed, so you can't even trigger the ability. Uh, so that's the... Uh, ooh, look at this. Big okay turn here, 5k. <laughs> I saw the one straight go into the front guys of uh, he thought he was boosting. Of Wolf. I thought he was boosting. I was like, what is he even doing? I was like, I was like, like well, I got a, I got a hard two through this rock. You don't, you don't got the hit a rock, get a free boost upgrade. I do not have that upgrade. Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll play test it a little bit here. We have uh, Pat Analyzer, uh, uh, by the way, is a white action. So you can, before you're stressed, so you can link it if you want to. And that's what these uh, Whispers love to do. They love to K-turn, do their reposition jam or their focus jam. And here we're going to have a boost. Uh, boost rotate, boost perhaps? Boost jam. Boost jam. Uh, going offensive here from the Padme. We didn't really see a lot of Padme going on. Uh, the ship center arc really kind of just bricked out anyways, so. A little bit, yeah. Okay, it looks like we're going to see a, a attempted failed 5k, yeah. Well, that's a road for you. You got to risk it sometimes. Would have been beautiful. Luckily, weapons disabled anyways, so like who cares? Though it will yeah. prevent your proud tradition. Because even though... Uh, you no, you, sh you shouldn't get the proud tradition. Am I? Am I wrong about that? Am I crazy? He cannot take that focus. Uh, he might have just done a five forward then. Oh, that's true. Well, I would have gone aggressive stressed. with the five k. He, 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 he would have been double stressed. Well, no, you're not allowed. You can't take the bump. Right, well, yeah, yeah, you can't. You, you're you're not allowed to. But if he had, he would have be he would be double stressed. So he must have Correct. five straighted. Correct. Yeah. Oh, which honestly makes more sense. You five straight just because of road, and then pass your stress to somebody, and then you sloop the next round. Right. No big deal. Mm -hmm. And if you do have to keep your stress, oddball. you cut in behind him. It's an oddball. Do that bump focus, and then get a lock on to. Hollow. Mm, for the rear arc shot. Smart. Yeah, this is, this is uh, exactly what Hollow wants here. Or exactly what Oddball mm. wants. Not what Hollow wants. <laughs> Not what Hollow wants, but it is what the <laughs> yeah. arcs want. They're in the they're in the middle of the board. They're taking front and back shots. Jag now has become an ace. Like <laughs> just slipped yeah. into the backfield <laughs> and will never be shot at again. Just and yeah, disappeared we... from target priority. Ooh, Von Reg doing some fancy stuff here. Yeah, so Does it looks a like depleted roll. Deplete roll or deplete roll. Yeah. Deplete roll. Yeah, yeah. They the they got they got ridiculous models. No, take it off, Tyler. No, he bumped it. Oh yeah. He bumped the model but not the ship though. The barrel was good. No, no, oh, yes, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, he bumped He bumped the the, the model of the, the ship, which knocked it. The, knocked the bullseye, <laughs> bullseye is important I, here, okay? I don't know if I could give you a visual of, like, trying to find, 
trying to fly a soundless <laughs> fan. I don't think you see anything. I don't know. Like, the interceptors I get, but, like, now they're just, like, purposely in the way. So it does take the focus after the deplete, just oh, in case boy. Anakin did something like a purple talon roll. That purple talon roll would have been pretty cool, actually. Uh, uh, I think Road messed it up. Uh, no, I, Anakin, Anakin prefers this. No, that's fine. Stayed out of Rassark, though. Wrath did line up that bullseye ion attack, but the Oof, it does actually, force it, the uh, the attack onto Oddball there with the the only ship with a, a red or orange. No, it, no, it's if Wrath has a red or orange token. Wrath has it. Wrath. I don't has want it, to yeah. go. Migs maybe. Migs Mayfield. Anyways, Crispy's rolling dice up at the top of the board. Looks like two hits, and gonna spend the focus token to put some damage. On to Wolf. I don't see. Is this Wolf Shields? I can't tell. Uh, just one hit remain there. So dodged with the three agility. I believe that was the the range that was zero Anakin. or range that was, one. Yeah, that was Anakin. Anakin, yeah. That range one because it was three dice. All right, we got a four dice attack here. With the reroll, come on, Kylo. I'm going to spin the force. Padme. Uh, thinking about the born for this. Oh, did you think that this uh, arc was taking the focuses for themselves? Mm -mm -mm. They were taking them for the defense of Padme, who looks like survive. No, oh, that was the third one. Direct hit. Yeah. Direct it. Uh, so is destroyed. So not a lot of Padme play here. Uh, we talk up her ability quite a bit, but uh, pa Christopher Patrick able to identify her as the problem, get the whispers in here, get her jammed up, and uh, on the run. All right. We see that Predator reroll there from Wrath. Single evade. So it looks like a another direct, no, a panicked pilot Man. onto Wolf. Well, that, there goes that 4K. He was really eyeballing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's the one without the R4P as well. He's got Q9 or Q7. I didn't even talk about, which not going you to. Don't, you don't need to talk about it. <laughs> All right. looks like some black dice. I can't tell what they were, but it looks like a lot of blanks. This is a three dice defense. So I have to imagine this is one range damage one. On the Anakin. Yeah, that was the ion cannon follow up range one four dice attack. No ion though goes down. So still has that uh, barrel out. Gonna love to barrel out here. Uh, Tyler bricks some dice. That was the range zero. Now to the rear arc with the target lock. He's gonna save it. I thought he got the lock on hollow. Maybe not. Did he get jammed off or something? I thought he did as well. There it is. Okay. Now we're on to... Jag. Oh no, that might have been Wolf. Wolf's three dice rear arc. They both shooting three dice rear arcs, but now we're shooting Jag. Yeah. Everyone's got three attack dice around here. Uh, looks like Kahlo, uh survives. Jag not putting much offense out there, without any modifications. So Tyler 
just bleeding damage this round. Uh, Crispy struggled, we'll say, in the opening engagement. Didn't lose the ship, though. Um, and this was their turn to fire back after the jams. Kylo successfully takes out Padme. But now, phew, these... Uh, ships, especially these three at the bottom here, Wrath and uh, Von Reg, probably the two most susceptible to damage ships, in my opinion. Is that right? Uh, yeah, they don't have a bunch of tricks. I mean, mm. Von Reg does have Lone oh. Wolf, but like it's you don't not, not being used here. Uh, you know what? I just solved the. I just solved the the missing target lock. I found out where it went. It went to Hollow, or it went from Hollow to oh, Kylo. Of, of course. Passed it. Of course. Because you want to pass Kylo the stress, and with Oddball being range zero. Yeah, I love Hollow. How many times Darth Vader has came in real confident uh, and target locked Hollow? Uh, and watch Hollow, Hollow just pass it to somebody Vader can't shoot at is just the funniest thing to me. <laughs> yeah, or you lock someone else, I'm not going to deal with Hollow, right? I'm just not going to deal with that shenanigans. And then they throw them evade to uh, <laughs> throw an evade to them. <laughs> yep, I'll, uh, oh, you locked Kylo? I'll just throw my evade to Kylo then. Yeah, it's uh, it, that it's board information, like perfect information about movement and stuff. Now I have like shots, it's not like Kara, but perfect board state information, so valuable. What's the little ghost token on Padme? Uh, great question. And it's actually what confused me about the proton torpedo. Uh, earlier is because they were depleted from the mag pulse. That's why it was a three dice attack. Silly me. So the ghosts are, uh, <laughs> I guess, in reference to they're gone. So you you have ghost depletes no, and you have ghost. Uh, no, um, it's it d d d unes ghost dice. Ghost in the dice. Is that what it yeah. is? They're coming yeah. to haunt you with their dice statistics. Yeah. Uh, that's fair. Uh, we do see that weapons disabled on Hollow again for another shield back, and one on Von Reg as well. So Von Reg getting their shield, uh, probably putting them back up to full, if I'm not mistaken, unless they lost an extra one that particular round. Uh, but yeah, it's I don't know. It's just like X-wing meme stuff, but they they represent depletes and strains. So if you see a ghost with a green symbol, that's a strain. And a ghost with a red symbol is a deplete. Uh, too many bad... <laughs> Turns out, uh, Crispy's list hands out a lot of bad tokens. It's uh, pretty impressive how many bad tokens they're trying to hand out. Yeah. Uh, between Put the... Them to themselves and the, to each other. Yeah, you can jam yourself. They're handing out jams. They're handing out depletes. Oh man, pretty good stuff. Um, and all, all of, and that's this is why I think these aces are uh, so successful is that they're being able to do multiple actions even while K turning. Uh, Rass doing multiple actions through pattern analyzer. Kylo. Kylo is doing multiple actions through, like, the Force and then um, Pattern Analyzer. And, of course, uh, Hollow and Von Reg with the Proud Tradition there. Oh, I guess uh, Von Reg doesn't have Proud Tradition. They have Lone Wolf. So, everybody getting some way of double modifying in addition to Hollow and Von Reg's ability to target lock and focus. Hmm. Um, we, well, and then um, the reliance on Predator as well. So really favoring, making sure on the if you get a good attack, you're going to have modification for it. Whether it's through the, the BA's ability or through Predator. So let's see, Jag moved up. Wolf cleared his stress. 
And we're on to the initiative fives now. Uh, I think that is Wrath going to be a bump into, looks like a bump into, uh, maybe not. This should be a big shot into Wolf. Can't see. Got an adorable hoodie in our way. I mean, I Wrath, think Wrath doesn't mind the red token, though, the red bump, because then he can bullseye and then shoot primary out the rear. You don't think that bumps? That's going to be an impressive uh, arc dodging barrel roll right here, if possible. Oh, yeah, it's possible. Just going to test back to back for a second. We back to middle. Uh, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Back to middle. Uh, which would be uh, a little bit backwards, but do what you can. This is in person play. Uh, not the, Not like the simulations, you know. Uh, you just jam yourself, just for extra defense. Yeah. Oh, uh, jam, jam Anakin. Okay. Uh, Anakin has a protection lock, I guess. Uh huh. Yeah, we, that's uh, the last lock out there on the, the objective. Normally, you don't see those Ada's locking, but if you yeah. see jam actions across from you, and you have a target and, lock action. Yeah. And your higher initiative? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's the... Am I... Uh, the... Uh, Lorir. I have targeting computer. I don't think I've ever... Target locked somebody in combat. But I have had people jam off my... Target lock, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah it was a... It was a whirlwind. Libo, welcome in. No, this is... The... Just the second week of Gen Con. We're going to have live events in the future. Or live games in the future. Uh, but uh, we didn't get a chance to talk about these games at Gen Con. Because we didn't do a live stream of them. So we still wanted to show them off. Get them with some commentary. Uh, and find out what, what was the road to the final table. Watched round six and seven. Both of these uh, previous rounds were on Sunday, even though they were Swiss rounds. They did kind of like a graduated cut there. Only certain people made it from the three days of Swiss into the final two Swiss rounds on Sunday. I think about 13, 14 people ended up making it into Sunday. And then from those two games of Swiss, narrowed it down to a top four. Tyler Tippett, Christopher Patrick, uh, Zach, uh, Bart, and I don't know the I don't know the fourth one because we don't have coverage of it. Uh, uh, oh, it was Nick. It was Nick. Yeah. Nick Sperry, of course. How can I forget? Find the Empire in the top four. So we see these deuterium power cells uh, used, you know? I kind of questioned it. I was like, well, maybe that's just like a fun gimmick or whatever. But really gain some good value out of them. Uh, there are two points less than a shield upgrade. So you do get some extra upgrades when you take it over that shield. But also potentially two uh, shield upgrades, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Anakin just facing the wrong way a little bit here. Yeah, all the ships are behind already, him. <laughs> already, already barrel rolled. So no possibility of barrel rolling. Just going to go for the boost. See if he can line up the bullseye on to uh, Kylo. Or, yeah, Kylo. Yeah, we did see Kylo use that pattern analyzer and the evade action. Though, didn't get a chance to jam this oddball staring at him. And we're going to see that R2-D2 deplete to take away the uh, damage card in Anakin. And look at this. Passes the weapons disabled to a ship who already has a weapons disabled token. 
Brilliant. Hollow, you could just do it all, can't you? All right, well, looking oh, at the possible double shot here from the Predator. Should be, it switches to black dice, so it's harder to tell. But it should be two and a crit from Wrath. Does Wrath have Marksman? Yes. Oof, that's a lot of damage cards coming down. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think, onto Wolf. It is destroyed. That's another that's reason fine. why Wrath, Wrath wanted to, the jam. You need an orange token to do your front and back attacks. It says, I'm the veteran tail gunner now. This looks like a depleted shot from Hollow. So, didn't end up doing anything there to Anakin. We're checking Bullseyes. Oh, He's strained. Oh, he's strained. Bold choice. I, guess, I mean, I guess you just got both your shields back, right? So. Wait, why is he throwing his focus away? <laughs> I believe he's moving it out of the way to check this bullseye. Now, a lot of the times we see Kylo with instinctive aim and some sort of missile, concussion, mag pulse, cluster even. But uh, not this one. Uh, wanted the Malice and Pattern Analyzer instead. Yeah, really, really leaning into that bullseye. I mean, it's it's what you need. So we're going to shoot the range one bullseye instead into Oddball. Got the Predator in force. How much do you want to use it? Want, I mean... You like that uh, uh, Malice for the crit, one evade, and drops three shields off of Oddball. I don't think Oddball's been touched. Uh, just two shields. Alright. Uh, with the reroll, gets three... Uh, kept the focus, so only two dice. <laughs> Gonna have to spend the force and an evade. And still gets a face-up damage card. Disabled? Power regular, maybe? No. No. What is it? It looks like a damaged engine. Hmm. <laughs> True. It looks like a damaged engine to me. Well... It would matter a lot more if there was another shot onto Kylo, but there's not. We're going to look at rear arc attacks onto um, Wrath there. Oh, double blanks here from the green dice. Back into the box. Uh, that's going to be two shields. Off of uh, Wrath. Off of breath, wow. Mm -hmm. Yep, sniped from that rear arc. Veteran tail gunner. Uh, both attacks onto these whispers. Oddball got to keep their focus token. <laughs> well, they should have gotten the. Oh, it was six damage cards. Okay, I was only counting five there. He had one previously from uh, last round, the panicked pilot. All right, uh, to Jag. Wolf was destroyed. Padme's off the board. And I think that was an out of hand three. And uh, spins the evade for the third on uh, Von Reg there. All right, I think we've used all of Hollow's deuterium power cells. Yeah, uh, Von Rick still has one. Wow. Well, the... Uh, still a lot of time left. 7 points to 11. But uh, with Wolf going down that round, Crispy is in a great lead here. Has Jack right where they want him. Can you just cover the middle? Blast people that are shooting my other ships. 
So I'll be interested to see here. I mean, it's got to be Anakin. Anakin, I feel like hasn't had those like big range one punches he normally does. Been kind of caught up in yeah. uh, the first order. Uh, Crispy took yeah, a big the, risk the, by coming in, but it, it's paying off now. Yeah, Von Reg being at the same initiative and having to think about road roll is really throwing off Anakin a little bit. Mm hmm. Well, also having, like, not being able to be on the flank, right? Where you just have, like, half the board to maneuver around. Kind of pushed up against the board edge between Padme. Yeah. Yeah, Blessing and curse, too close you know. Me. Yeah. <laughs> it is interesting. I was I was naysaying Von Reg, but we saw very early on that Oddball and Jag just f went left anyways. Didn't even go towards uh, the corner like everybody else did. In fact, even Wolf banked in at one point because then yeah, banked in and then hard turned out. So all of the arcs turned away from Von Reg. Yeah. I mean, all, all these ships are five points, so it's just like, who who do you think you can burn down, you know? I think it's whoever, it's who ends up in your arc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really the thought process, yeah. Uh, far more maneuverable and action uh, intensive than the... Um, than the arcs need to be. Arcs can just bruise around. They welcome range one shots as long as they can trade. So if you are Anakin here, who, I mean, who is your next target? Kylo's on one. Hollow just healed up. Von Reg just healed up. So it's got to be these whispers, right? Have to take down Kylo. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you think Kyle's gonna do, though, is the thing. Oh, can I see his dial? Do they got, I don't think they got three banks. Do they got three bank blue? They do have three bank blue. Yeah. Mm, it's their only blue, that's right. Only other blue than two bank. But they got the five forward. That's yeah, a, they had a that's five straight. Blue. Five straight. Jag, Jag shouldn't be there, and you can move before Anakin. Unless Anakin boosts, but then you're it's whatever at that point, you know. Not ball. Hasn't bumped anybody. So. I'll get corrected to parallel. We're going to see that 4K. What else can you do? Yeah. Do hard two, hard two? No, thank you. Well, uh, you could go for the hard two bump focus and get a lock on to Kylo, but that's not worth it, I think. Oh, uh, you'll get a lock or by doing this, though. Give give a lock to Anakin. Oh, that's true. That's true. Maybe. Yeah, I like that. We'll have to use R4P to four forward and to not hit that objective next round, but it'll be fine. So yeah, we had Jags lock and now oddballs on there too. And I think we see why the maneuver why I prefer the Barons over the interceptors <laughs> is the one bank blue. Yeah. Turns out if you fly rebels for too long, it's hard not to fly ships without a one bank blue. I think it's why I like X1 so much, because I was like, hey, you're an A Wing, but also I could just one bank blue. <laughs> uh, did 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 block the one hard? I thought we might see. Uh, it, was a... it was a valiant attempt by Crispy, but he immediately gave up. <laughs> I thought I thought we might see Wrath go for a sloop or K turn. So I wasn't too sure about the barrel in towards uh, mm. Wrath, but ended up uh, getting a pretty good block. Not taking the bump focus. Uh, just a two bank, so that would have bumped into Oddball. Maybe, yeah. Lots of lots of locks on on Kylo. 
yeah, he's gonna go for the roll, uh, roll, roll. Hmm. It's gonna, it's gonna be roll jam. If you can't jam, uh, the, um, yeah, oh, if you can't okay, jam, jam Jag, you jam, um, um, Anakin. Well, Anakin has the safety lock, so jam yourself. Oh, he does have range, okay. Yeah, you don't jam the target lock off. He gets those for free. All right, Anakin might be falling into the kill box here. But no, it's just going to be bumped. Just, just stuck playing bumper cars at the carnival with these FO ships. Yeah. I think it does end up lining up the bullseye there, so at least it's going to get a three dice range zero, I think. Yeah, but you're, I mean, I guess just a hollow's looking at you, who I think strained focus locked, as yeah. you should. <laughs> yeah, strained focus lock. Throw, throw the strain to uh, Wrath, who is not shooting. Yep, yep. Yeah, normally I would say uh, you need a token um, dump for <laughs> Hollow. Wrath, Wrath is a great token dump. He wants red tokens. And, yeah, he, he <laughs> enjoys them, in fact. Thank you. Thank you for the strain. <laughs> uh, we see a lock deplete maybe here. Focus, lock deplete focus. Yeah, deplete. Von Rad can't throw the strain, so has to just take a lot of depletes. Though, if my master has been right, three dice with the focus uh, has more potential. But if you plan on saving that four die or er, saving the focus for defense, you're better off with two dice target lock over three dice nomon. Right, yeah. Because you get uh, basically a fourth dice rolled. So there's never, there's very rarely the penalty for taking the free lock. All right, dice off screen here. Tyler's happy with them. Right, we got. A... Oh, he shot, he shot into Von Rig to give yep. Jag the lock. Mm -hmm. Wow. Pretty good. Out here, out here coordinating. Out here coordinating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty oh, much. Gonna, I, I think he's going to shoot a mag pulse, though. Yeah, he's shooting two dice mag pulse. That makes a lot of sense. Another reason why the two dice is um, very good against these one agility. Yeah, two dice mag pulses against one agility is pretty great, especially because you know you have the lock. Yeah, your lock should get you two. Not guaranteed, but. Pretty close. At least like 75% to get that. Oh, he's going to spend the focus. He can see uh, a <laughs> Natural evade. Oh, burns. Oh, no. That might have been the moment right there. Okay. I think that's going to really... That may that may oh. kind of thrust Tyler uh, back into the game a little bit. Uh, did they forget... Ah, ball shot. Yeah, I got so excited about Jag... Or no, no, we haven't no, shot no, Jack. No. Sorry, that was, yeah, that that was shooting into Jack. My apologies. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to be And this is, this is Kylo. Kylo. Or that's Kylo. Kylo just threw a fistful of blanks and going to go bye-bye. That free lock yeah. on the K-turn. Pretty good there. Yeah. Um, really did help pretty out. good. Um, luckily, the initiative five... We're going to see a target lock go down. Double reroll there. Into uh, hollow. One oh, damage. Ugh. Yeah, and he takes jag, one damage. Yeah. And... yeah. No shot on Anakin from Kylo. We're going to have to take the range one. Not bullseye into Jag. Uh, get gets some hits. 
Gets another natural of eight, I think. Wow. <laughs> no, so Kylo, Kylo's out. After the initiative fires, Anakin's still on the board. After just being pelted with constant attacks. Yeah, st still not half-pointed, by the way. Took two damage, but healed up one of them. Uh, before... Uh, oh, oh, there's there's four. Oh, never hit the threshold. Yes, you are right. I never hit the threshold, yeah. Yeah, four with the lock. And I think that is a big oof from Tyler. So must have must have threw down some big evades there. Didn't even touch his shields. No, I thought he remains. took a shield. No, I can't see that. Both of them are still there. Mm. Uh, Thunberg's got one shield. Uh. It's unfortunate because Von Riga just going to heal that shield back up. We needed to do the two damage to get two points. Yeah, that's uh, gave up uh, Hollow's half points early. I don't know if yeah. I don't know if it uncalculated that. I'm pretty sure. No, it's still yes, in there. We, yes, we still counts the half. That's still right. Is he? <laughs> we do have a lot of healing ships in this one, so <laughs> it's very clear. Once you've given up points, you can never get them back. You can heal all yep. the way up to full. You can you can heal up to more health than you started with, if possible. But the, however you can figure out how to do that. But you'll never get your points back. Once points are scored, it's in the log. Yeah, because you score it when it happens. When it happens. No. Um, didn't think we'd see... Um, if if someone had asked me, I was like, "What do you expect <laughs> in the top four table of um, current X-wing?" I would not have said at least three ships that could heal. <laughs> at least. <that. laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, and the, on the other side, uh, the other top four, um, what is it? It's a. Uh... It's, it's Empire versus um. Empire versus Rebel. Rebels. Uh, Hera right, versus yeah. uh, Darth Vader. Hera and Luke Hera. versus Vader yeah. and Mauler. Uh, no, no Mauler, but has backstabber. He oh, it does have Mauler as well. Definitely yeah, has yeah. Mauler. I did actually meant to say Merrick, but Mauler is in that list too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> All right, big K turn here. Hopefully, we'll stay in the center of the board. Ah, uh, looks like it. They changed his course on us. Is that accurate with the yeah uh, round points? Yeah. No, he needed the four straight. Oh, he re he just now realized it. <laughs> uh oh no, this is Chris. No. moved it. Or no, that is Tyler's hands. Yeah, he just now realized that. I fork it, didn't uh, I? No, so tried to use R4P to clear the stress with a three forward. No, and, needed, uh, needed to do the four and keep it white. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, like that, that rock, I think it's a little pointed out. I think it, he would have been okay with a... Um, like a one a, bank. Uh, a one, Maybe a one straight, almost. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Maybe. Well, uh, this wrath is gonna come. Say something <laughs> about that. So. Yeah. Very gonna go ahead and just jam himself, I guess, at that point. Yeah. yeah. For fun. Using those GSP jam tokens. You love to see it. Heck yeah, yeah. You know, I, I love my GSP jam tokens. Uh, that that crow Paul acrylic man just feels good. Uh, you also feels it's good, good seeing Maze Room subscribe with Prime for 62 months. It's been such a treat having you. Hopefully this Gen Con coverage uh, can uh, give you some insight into the convention. Unless you went, Maze Room, did you go to Gen Con by chance? I unfortunately didn't go. So 
excited to see these games as they're played out here. Ah, oh, this one, this one's a nail biter. I'll be honest with you. Oh, another bump. Jeez. Yeah, I sixes, just, just and these I fives just swarming them. Can you yeah, take an action? A, no, yeah, it's a miserable time for Brannikin. Yeah, really loves those open spaces on the flank and has to in be over here trying to knife fight some of the best knife fighters the game can offer, which is the BAs yeah. and Whispers. Yep. BAs have that hard one blue. Whispers have uh, that hard one white, but they almost never stress themselves. These are stressed themselves a little bit more often than usual, but they usually never stress themselves. Sure. I mean, we... We saw that the three banks and the five forward is blue, so yeah. you can't do hard turns out of stress or out of K turns, but you have literally all your other maneuvers available. <laughs> literally anything else. And a turret. So And a turret. So if that doesn't get you a shot. <laughs> not sure yeah, what if that will. doesn't get you a shot, yeah, you may you may be in a bad position. If a five forward boost rotate doesn't give you a shot coming out of your K turn, I don't know what will. Oh man, these FO are going to eat up this arc. Yep, one don't... damage card. Two is a direct hit. Uh, half? That's half. How uh, about with the 10 health? Was... Oh, that was Bullseye. Oh, that's his Ion Cannon. I nice. I oh nized. Ah uh, yeah, he is. Uh, it does have to be a different target, but must not have bullseye for the damage there. No, he didn't have bullseye. All right, blacks with black dice. Can't see. They're setting dice results out, which I love to see. So all those are good. We're gonna spend the lock and the focus and just blast this. Oddball out of here. Will he survive? I think he's on one. That sounds about right. Uh, I see about four or five cards over there. Gets two into hollow. Or Von Bragg, rather. Uh, I actually think, I think that will get half. Yep, strained there. And we'll finally... Take down both shields off one of these VAs. And Tyler scores himself <laughs> two points from it. So now you just you just ignore the rest. Of the, uh, if if uh, I'm, I'm calling him right here. I think Jack Jack's going to finish off that Von Reg. You think so? No, I think he just he bricked a bunch first. of dice. So <laughs> He bricked so hard, the results never hit the table. So... Let's, no, that uh, was Jack's shot. The last one? Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because Oddball's on the rock. Oddball's on the rock. How silly of me. How silly. What are you even thinking, man? What am I thinking? All right, well. Uh, Anakin did repair up the second time with R2-D2, so oh, R2-D2 should be done. Yep. R2-D2 is done, and he's back to full. Mm. Did not give up his half. Wow. Can you believe it? Uh, should we be looking at regen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, because, I mean, it didn't work out for Hollow. I mean, Hollow's back to full health, but uh, she did give up her two points. Mm, that's true. Hey, still on the board, though, right? And regen isn't that super important in non-chance engagement games. It's just like, would those points be better spent elsewhere? Hmm. Um, I mean, for, for 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 these three ships, I mean, Anakin, you literally cannot bring Anakin without Archie's you too, so um, you're stuck with it, whether you like it or not. Um, but for Hollow and Von Rig, those deuterium power cells are great additions to those ships. Sure. So, and cost efficient nowadays. Yeah, finally cheaper than a shield. Yeah. Which is they probably... So. I mean, it could be two shields. 
I mean, you said in the beginning, like, it takes up two slots. So if you don't want somebody to heal, rip that mod slot off of them. I'm sorry. You don't get the cells. Because, uh, like, a lot of silencers uh, still don't have modification slots to take deuterium. I thought all of them. I thought all of them don't. Some of them do now. I thought one got. I thought I've seen afterburners on one. Maybe I'm crazy. To to, to the Yasbies. Uh oh, some of them do have mods. Let's see. Um. It's just the Sinar Jameson. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so just the Cyanar James Engineer, who doesn't have who doesn't have the loadout to take it. Who doesn't have six points? Yep. Disrespectful. That is correct. Can take uh, angle <laughs> deflectors. If you want to reinforce on your silencer. Oh. Look at this. No. Did he sloop the wrong way? Oh no. Will he? Oh wait. Will he not fit? No, he fit. I wonder if he slooped the wrong way. He definitely must have slooped the wrong way. That's crispy, crispy, my my boy. That might that might that might be the actual nail in the coffin oh, here. Because wow. if he thought that was going to be an easy destruction on Oddball, we might see everybody else turn away. Yeah, or or Von Rag just like get out, right? Um, right. Well, I'm yeah. saying yeah, like both of these these ships turn to the left and oddball ions forward and blast this wrath off the rock wow um, I mean it happens uh, the half of the honestly like half of the tournament is dealing with fatigue and stuff like that right yeah Chris is so close they must have called a judge for it like hey I put my dial wrong yeah, I mean, it was monitored. So, I mean, if that's what you, what you revealed, it's what you revealed. Yeah. What's even worse is uh, side slips. Because, man, it's people, some people, some, sometimes <laughs> people just forget and put the side slip the wrong way. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's like, oh, I definitely did it. I'm definitely doing a side slip that way. It's like, you put the dial the wrong way if you wanted to do it that way. You're like, well, you know what I intended. It's like, I don't care what you intended. <laughs> what <Yeah>. you did. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. I mean, in this high level of play, um, you shouldn't. You should ask a judge before you ask your opponent if you can change your dial or correct a mistake, anything like that. Uh, don't don't uh, put we, that pressure on your opponent to yeah. uh, uh, agree to something to keep the uh, rapport, right? We did see the lock. Are we going to see the lock go down for oddball ability? I think he's thinking about it right now. I think, I think he's deciding, yeah. Um, can you not still pattern analyzer if you land on the rock like that? Yes. I believe so. I mean, why didn't he barrel? That's a great right? question. Am I, am I crazy? I think Is you can pattern it, it pattern and aligns her off, because obstacles are after your check for stress. Mm -hmm. Or else you could just bleed well, through even, a debris and. Even if it did, doesn't it? Tie a whisper. I mean, I I agree. Maybe there was something I missed about it. Or maybe it was just uh, crispy, confused of yeah. uh, what it was. Though it does look like no, before must... the check difficulty step. Oh, you know what? I think yeah, him hitting the rock though. I think that is before check difficulty. No, or else you'd clear stress going over a debris. Um. I 
I'm confident I'm right. Maybe they didn't think about it. Could have been cool. Crispy, uh, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you most certainly can. Because, like, in your scenario, if it was uh, the other way around, you could dial in a blue, get hit by the obstacle, check your difficulty, saw that you did a blue maneuver, and then clear your stress off. Yeah. Ugh, crispy. My heart hurt for, hurts for you if that, if, that, if that is what happened. I don't. I, I in that moment it definitely was just like, man, I messed up. Just a roller coaster here. It looks like we're gonna have two hits from Von Reg into Jag, or so this would be Hollow actually. Uh, shooting a Mag Pulse, gonna take off the focus and do a single critical damage. Should be Jack slash Shield, if I'm not mistaken. No, that took, it was a crit. Oh, I do see it there now, yes. All right, looks like three hits, two evades so far, two results at least. Can I spend the charge? So it must have been Hollow's other shield. I, I don't know what Chris is doing here. I like this. Uh, <laughs> this face cam on Chris, though. <laughs> well, he shook his head at something. So it must have, must have been Von Reg's other shield or uh, Hollow's other one. No, I thought Von Reg got uh, flipped last time. No, I, I don't think Von Reg has used his second deuterium yet. Okay. I don't understand why he wouldn't. He should have this turn. Interesting. Maybe he, he might have flipped it to take the lock away. That's some next level stuff. Uh, I think we're going to see four, three hits. Rain zero into hollow. No, I think this one this one is from in, into Wrath. Oh, the rear arc. Yes, that's what Chris was measuring. The rear arc. Oh, double blanks. Strained from the previous round when Hollow threw it over to them. So up one yeah. green, down one green. And the double blanks on Wrath. And the debris damage might have just taken him out. I don't know if he got debris damaged or not. He's very, very upset. Uh, so, all right, so take Wrath Alpha there, right? Because we are approaching the 75 minute marker. So if, if Wrath is destroyed, Tyler's up. Tyler's up already. Yeah, he, he is up. Oh, that, that's probably, that's probably oh, what it is. Oh, it's half damage. The half points didn't need to uh, destroy him. Because, uh, yep. like I said, we saw the Von the, the Von Reg and Hollow turn away from Oddball. Oddball's two points stays on the board. Uh, Jag uh, only took one damage card, so that's only four of nine. Yep. So Jag also not halved. So four points of arcs still flying around the board. Four points of Anakin. And, yeah, we have it there uh, with the end of round points going from 17 to 16. Tyler Tippett moves on to the final. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J-List our Grand Admiral patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron out.